What is up, everyone? Happy Power Hour. Give me a second here. I just put on a position, so I need to put in an order. Things are running slow like a turtle today on my computer. Wow, things are slow. Well, hopefully everybody can hear me. What have I done today? Got a one DTE that I've closed out. I closed it out on that push up. Just didn't want it to keep going against me. So book profit there. Uh, that had a 20, 40, 60 and out on both AM1, AM2. Then lunchtime number one got off centered here with that push up. So I put on power hour number one. And that's what I'm trying to put the OCO order in, but everything is just frozen on my computer. So hopefully everybody can hear me. Uh, if you can hear me, somebody post in the live chat channel if you can hear me, just so I know. All right. Now, if I can just start um, being able to operate my computer, that would be helpful. Looks like a... Things want to go higher today. It was really nice price action most of the day, just chopping. Now it's coming up to highs of day. So we will see if this wants to rip higher or come back down. I'd like to see it come back down, honestly. And I'm going to have to reopen this. This is not good. Not good when your computer starts freezing up and you got trades on. All right, that's better. Yeah, so I'm currently in a lunchtime number one and a power hour number one. And I have not hit 20% on either one of those. So uh, if we continue higher here, my lunchtime is going to get stopped. But it will benefit my power hour trade. Um, kind of looks like things want to rip up.
All right. Finally got that OCO order put in. Anybody in a Wooga? I am not. Sixty-five, sixties. Pretty nice day for TLC. It's just, you know, you got this push down, push up, you know, price consolidates. And then it, I kind of wanted to see a little bit bigger range so I could add some more positions, but I ended up adding one. Let's see. I added about 945 and then about 1120. I feel like I kind of forced that one, but it worked out. Didn't quite get a grip on initially. I thought, okay, are we gonna we're we gonna be weak today, or are we gonna be strong today? And then it it pushed, it reversed and pushed up, and then up here about fifty five or fifty six sixty three, it started to come back down. So I kind of need a, I need to. Come back down. I am close to getting stopped out of my lunchtime. If it doesn't, if it doesn't come down some here, I was about 25 cents away, looked like. So I need I need some significant down movement here. It is through highs of day, so I need it to come back down. I was, I was, uh, I think I was about 30 cents away uh, from booking 20% profit on that lunchtime number one. Uh, and then this push up happened. So I was so close, man. So close. And now it looks like it's probably going to get stopped because I don't think this is going to be coming down. Just looks like it's a trend upward here in terms of the end of the day, but really haven't had a good push down in a long time. I get to pull back to 60 or Yeah, I kind of needed to come back down to at least 5660. This looks like it's just going to go higher. Yeah, I'm going to get stopped. It's a nickel away from getting stopped. Boy, it's it's dancing on the borderline. Twenty cents. Oh. Yeah, it's coming back down, man. It's barely surviving, man. 
Holy moly. My order is at 8.25. I saw it hit 8.20. I think it's probably inevitable. There's a little bit of a down move. Holy moly, I needed that. <laughs> I needed to stay there for a while. Still think it's probably inevitable it's going to be going up. VIX is coming up though. Uh, Steve is uh, leading a class right now. What was that? It was. Uh, I, don't know, I can't remember what class it was, so I'm covering for him. Oh, Magic Mahomes class. Yeah, that's what it was. All right, here's a little bit of down movement. I still think it's just going to I think this is just a little pause and I think it's probably going to rip. I want to see a little bit of a down movement so it can hit my 20% and then I'd be be buying after that because you can get that twenty percent, then you can pretty much as a scratch trade. So
got any, we got some time here. So if anybody has any TLC questions, if you're new, feel free to post them in the live chat channel. Where's the training? Um, that's the Zoom link that he had. Not 100% sure where that link is. We come down to 55, I could probably hit 20%. Uh, up for dollar, it's Magic Mahomes, is my understanding. Looks like it wants to stay above 60. You haven't seen that yet, Up for Dollar? You've been around for quite a while. Yeah, and you know, um, my TLC account's on a different computer, but uh, let's see. It's just an iron, it's just an iron condor. Is that what you're, what, what are you wanting to see? Here, I, I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't have one on in this account, but I can show you how to, how to do it. If, if you can give me a little bit more specific, because it's just an iron condor. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not placing one right now. I've already got. I've already got them on in my account, but there's exam there's there's examples in the Iron Condor course or in the Zero DTE course on how to do an OCO order. 
Like I, I'm, I'd have to get filled on a trade, and it's on a different computer. So if I hit twenty percent, I'm going to do an OCO order, but it's on a different computer. But if you want to know how to do an OCO order, that's in a course. So you're able to, uh, in fact, I can even go to the, uh, actually, no, it's in the, it's probably in WAP. Huh. Yeah, I mean I don't I, I'm not putting one on live right now and I'm not going to do it just to show someone cuz that wouldn't be good trading. So, and it's in my other account, so I mean, I can show you how to do an iron condor. Yeah. In my course, it doesn't show how to do the OCO. The OCO is shown in Steve's Zero DTE course. Yeah, they're out of. Yeah, they're out of. They are out of the money. They they are out of the money. Yeah, I had to put my other account in on my other computer because it's when I have two accounts open and a Zoom, it's so slow. I can't do it. That's why I was that's what I was having problems with earlier. Everything was so slow. So I can only run a Zoom in one account. But uh but the OC OCO orders. He walks you through it in the uh, zero DTE course. It's really, I mean, that's how I learned it. So if I can learn it from watching that that course, then anybody can. All right, it's holding at fifty six sixty. Oh, I forgot. Um, in this account, I just remembered this. Um, I do have a a Wooga on in this account. It was an early Wooga that I took at one twenty central. So it is off center. When you trade multiple accounts, sometimes you forget. So in this one, I got, I put on an early Wooga and I put it on before this push up because I mean, you can look at what price had done for so long. Um, and then I've got a power hour and a lunchtime. My power hour trades about 50 cents from hitting 20%. And my lunchtime needs some more down movement. And thanks guys for posting those links for Anil. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, like, We'll set them up, um, but just at the time you asked me, like I wasn't setting one up because, and it's on a different computer, but, but yeah, usually, usually in the live streams, um, Steve is usually sharing his, his, his screen. Um, so I'm just kind of filling in for him. So for, for mine though, most people, like they, I post, I post the trade I'm taking in the, the Dr. Chad channel. So if you look in there, you'll see power hour number one. 
So, so the best place to actually learn is the course because you can stop and rewind it and go back. So most people that are doing these trades, like they're wanting for me anyway, they're wanting me to post my trade in the uh, discord. Uh, seeing it and learning it happen like that can be confusing sometimes because you, you know, I'm going fast to do it. I'm not sitting here going slow. So most people are learning it because it's there's examples in, in given in the the chat. Or I'm sorry, in the courses. Yeah, I can, and I can do that. That's what I was gonna do. I can pull this over. But again, I'm just I'm just setting up an iron condor and so I, it's probably not. I guess I, I assume most people know how to trade an iron condor if they're in, in here actual live trading, but, but yeah. So, okay. So let's say I'm going to set up an iron condor. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to right click. Sell iron condor. Okay. And say so I want to try to, well, to be honest with you, I wouldn't do this right now because see, that's the problem. It's like, I wouldn't do this right now. So I don't want to be showing something I'm not going to be doing. Uh, let's go. Let's try the 5660. Sell Iron Condor. 5655. Okay, so let's say I want to do 20 wide. So that would be 5680. And then 56.35. All right. So if I want to, however many contracts I want to do, say I want to do four. Let's say I want to analyze that, right click, analyze trade. Yeah, I got to take all these off. Okay. So this is what it would look like. So then I would decide if I wanted to place the trade. If I want to place the trade, then I right click, confirm and send, and then send. And then try to get filled. So that's, I mean, that's the power hour trade I would be putting on if I was putting on a new one. And then <clears throat> if I got filled, then I would do the OCO order. And so again, you're going to... It's better, I think, to watch that in the course. Because you can watch it at your own pace. And it's a price coming down here a little bit. See if it wants to stay above 60. It kind of appears it wants to stay above 60. You talking about for the TLC? For my TLC trades, Anil? Yeah, all that's covered in my course. Have you got have you gone through the course? Like somebody just posted the link. Uh Op for Dollar posted the link. Yeah, so we're trying I'm trying to capture five dollars of credit. So I'm trying to center an iron condor with Five dollars of credit. So that's that's actually what I just did when I showed you there. I I was um, I was modeled putting one on that was somewhat centered. It was just off off center to the right based on what price is doing now, but. Yeah, I like to I like to be at five dollars or higher.
So for example, Anil, if you you see me post in the you see me post in the my channel here. So so you take a look at like, okay, power hour number one, I posted at 149 PM Central. So you see what strikes are. So you can go to your platform and you can see my shorts and longs and you could put it in and look at it and see if you want to place that trade or not. I don't really call them tranche one, tranche two. I, I call them power hour number one, power hour number two. But the way I trade zero DTE is different than the way Steve does. He has the, you know, power hour up day, down day, whatever, tranche one, tranche two, tranche three. That That's different than the way I do it. My power hour trades are all dependent on what I've done throughout the day. So I had a lunchtime number one on. When it got off center, I put on a centered a uh, new centered iron condor, which was a power hour trade because of the time that I put it on. So it just, I'm not sure what you're familiar with. If you're familiar with his way, or if you're wanting to learn his way of zero DTE or my way, because they're different. Yeah, I mean, his, his, yeah, his, his way is just different than me. Mine's all based on price action. Yeah, and and that's another thing. Thanks for bringing that up. You, you should be paper trading. If you're doing it my way, you should be paper trading for like two, a month to two months. I mean, I did two and a half months of paper trading, and I had been trading for seven years. So, but yeah, that's a that's a good point. If you're paper trading, then that's how you you work out all these kinks. So, okay, good, perfect. Yep. So, have you tried any of the trades that I posted throughout today? Like, did you do any of those? Because I've posted all my trades that I took today. Yeah, so so what you can do is if you monitor the Dr. Chad channel, then I'll post my trades in here. Like, for example, um, Okay, so there's a link to my first one today. So that that was posted at nine nine forty seven Central Time. So then you can decide, hey, if I want to try to take a similar trade, or you know, do it that way with your paper trading. All right, so so far, so far that uh, Wuga should be treating you guys pretty nicely. Yeah, so I didn't. I thought. I thought. I didn't know when you said you were new. I was like, I thought Anil's been here for a long time. That's why I couldn't. I was confused. So there's two Anils. I was like. Wait a second, Anil, you're not new.
Getting really close to 20% on my power hour trade, about 20 cents away. Yeah, so the, the new Anil, you may like put another letter or something on your name. So there's two of them. There's two of you. There you go. All right, price moving back up. Is it going to break out or not? I hope not. Guys, this Wooga should be cooking right now. My early Wooga needs some down movement, as does my power hour trade. But I'm a nickel away from hitting. No, no, my lunchtime needs down movement. I'm a nickel away on my power hour trade. There we go. Filled at 20% on my power hour number one. All right, so fill it four seventy. This should be five ninety. So fifty six seventies. All good questions, Anil. Um the live streams, just just so you know, they're not really the teaching moments because things are things move so fast. Um, you know, you can answer questions, but in terms of like showing things, um, you know, because it all depends on what's going on with price movement that day. All right, price moving, price moving back up. Looks like this just wants to rip up. Keeps getting rejected, though. Twenty eight minutes to go.
So I, I get a lot of questions about, do I close my longs or not? So on a day like today, I will. So where price has been range bound most of the day. So like I just closed some of my um, puts. In for this one. On a range bound day, I'll always, I'll always, I typically will, will close them. Like it just doesn't look like it wants to just collapse and go lower here. So like, that's why I close my puts. Looks like it wants to push through highs of day here, which it may be getting ready to do. Yeah, it tried. Thanks to Theta Decay, I'm still okay in my lunchtime trade. Still a 10 point move, huh? I would prefer 10 points down. Yeah, but she wants to rip. So my power hour trades pretty pretty centered. So I'm not I'm I'm not gonna add and this would be for like Anil for people learning my power hour trade, even though I got out twenty percent, it's still pretty centered. So I'm not gonna add anything right now. If it can keep doing this. Maybe I can get out of 20% of that lunchtime number one. It's down to 570. My 20% is at $4. You guys should be should be getting close to profit targets for the Wooga. Okay. Maybe this is going to come down more. I don't know. I can't get a grip on what this wants to do.
I mean, if it can move down to 60, I may hit 20% on that lunchtime trade. There's a spike up in the VIX. There's 40% of my power hour trade. Build at 355. So my next profit target would be 235. So now I would really like some down movement because I'm out of 40% of my power hour trade. So I don't really care what happens with it anymore. It can get stopped for all I care. 40% and out. <laughs> Just to move down to 60, I think, would get me profit target. Nineteen minutes left. I mean, if this comes down and hits my profit target, this is going to be a really big green day. VIX are creeping up. Wow, I'm 40 cents away from hitting a profit target on a trade that was, what did I say? 10 cents from being stopped? Ten cents away from twenty percent. Oh, don't go back up. Come on.
It looks like it wants to hold above 60. What was that pivot right at 60? I thought it might go right back up. Just come down to 60 for me. Yesterday, we had a big drop at the end of the day. Are we going to have a big rip today? Here we go. Should be hitting any second. Oh, that's beautiful. Profit target hit on lunchtime number one. That was, that was a weird fill. Coming down. I may hit 40% on that lunch time with this down move. All right, coming down a little bit still. If I can get filled on 40%, I'm going to go ahead and just close that lunchtime number one.
Still looks like it wants to rip up, though. We got uh, about two minutes until it's time to close the Wooga. Okay, popping back up now. Just a chopping around. 150 million buy side. Much. Wow. Big push up. All I have left is filled at 60% on my, what would that have been? So that would have been the power hour. Filled on both. So out at 40%, out at 60%. I'm sorry, I stopped on one and stopped it. And then, no, yeah, I did build it 40% and then 305 and 180. Pushing up, Wug is closed. Wow, just a rip up now. I thought this might be coming. I thought this might be a coming. Okay, so this was closed at 305. And these final two were closed at So only one power hour trade for me, but what a nice day. I needed this. 8,280 in TLC trades, 1440 in one DTE, total 9,720. That dog will hunt. There she goes. I just just had a feeling, you know, it, it 
it hadn't fallen below 56, 58 since 140 Central. So it had been an hour, 20 minutes. Just had a feeling it was going to rip up at the end. Yeah, that power hour trade was a good one, Andy. All right, so that definitely helped out my July totals. Up to 24,895 in July, and then the one DTE. Let's see. One DTE for the month, I am at 7,470. That's June. What am I doing? This is the wrong one. I was like, that can't be right. One DTE for July, 4,735 so far. Boy, she's a she's a flying up. Am I gonna have any calls that are worth anything? Nope. No calls worth anything. Oh, but we did hit an all-time high, looks like. Hit an all-time high of All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here because I am done for the day. So my uh, early Wooga ended up being a loser on my other account. And so that is two losing Woogas, although this one was an early one. So I, if I would have waited like everyone else. But that account, last couple days, it's had two losing Woogas. A regular and an early. So, anyway, I will catch everyone tomorrow. Join me live in the morning if you want. Talk to you later. Peace.